From finding cures for human diseases to developing biotechnologies that address critical issues that impact us all, the new interdisciplinary world of biomolecular sciences is making advances that are helping to define the future. I'm Denise Winget, Director of the Biomolecular Sciences PhD program at Boise State University. Boise State is an emerging leader in biomolecular research and innovation. Our research-intensive PhD program offers students the opportunity to combine studies from traditional areas of science to solve important problems that transcend boundaries between the single disciplines of biology, chemistry, physics, and computer science. This interdisciplinary program is the first of its kind in Idaho and is focused on preparing graduates for challenging and rewarding careers in today's biomedical and biotechnology workforce. From conducting basic cancer research to developing new nanotechnologies, therapeutics, vaccines, and biofuels, the research happening in our faculty labs is making a difference. Our newly remodeled laboratories are equipped with state-of-the-art instrumentation, and our research funding and commercialization opportunities have reached new heights. This represents an exciting time at our university. I'm Ken Cornell, an associate professor in the Department of Chemistry and Biochemistry. Our lab is working to develop an effective vaccine for West Nile virus. Since it first emerged in the United States in 1999, more than 30,000 cases of this virus have been reported, with more than 1,000 deaths. Idaho has been one of the hardest hit states, and in 2006 accounted for nearly 20% of all U.S. cases of this disease. In collaboration with Dr. Juliet Tinker and Dr. Denise Winget, we're using DNA technology to develop several vaccines for West Nile virus that could be given either intranasally or orally. Preclinical studies show that the vaccines were successful in stimulating antibody responses in mice, as well as providing us with new insight on how viral proteins interact with the host immune system. Our lab is also working to develop new antibiotics to treat infections caused by bacteria and intestinal parasites. We are examining several novel targets in pathogenic bacteria like E. coli and MRSA, as well as parasites like Giardia and Entamoeba. I find this work challenging and rewarding, and I enjoy the many opportunities to work with undergraduate and graduate students in our lab. With the rise of antibiotic resistance and the emergence of new pathogens, this area of study will be an active one for many years to come. My name is Kristen Mitchell, and I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Biological Sciences. The focus of my research is a protein called the aryl hydrocarbon receptor, or AH receptor. The AH receptor is a very interesting receptor because it's known to bind to potent environmental pollutants, such as dioxins and PCBs, and cause toxicity. However, we don't know what its natural physiological role is in the human body. We're studying the role of the AH receptor in the liver. We found that this receptor can regulate liver cell proliferation and activate cells in the liver that are responsible for fibrosis, which is characterized by abnormal or excessive deposition of collagen in the liver. Almost all chronic liver disease leads to fibrosis, which can eventually progress to cirrhosis. Unfortunately, the only current treatment for cirrhosis in the U.S. is liver transplantation. However, fibrosis is reversible, and the development of an effective antifibrotic strategy would prevent progression to cirrhosis and alleviate the need for organ transplantation. We have found that the AH receptor may help regulate the activation of liver cells that are responsible for fibrosis. Our long-term goal would be to establish a role for this receptor in the development of fibrosis and possibly develop the use of small molecules to target receptor signaling and prevent or reverse fibrosis. I'm fascinated with this receptor and by recent reports that indicate the AH receptor could be a viable therapeutic target to modulate a variety of physiological processes. My hope is to unveil a new role for the AH receptor in controlling liver disease. I am Daniel Foloja, an assistant professor in the Department of Physics. Our research focuses on the transport of ions and molecules across cell membranes. The controlled transport of materials across membranes is crucial for initiating and maintaining fundamental biological processes ranging from energy production to memory and transmission of information. This process can also be harnessed for other uses, such as developing advanced drug delivery systems. I'm Steve Rosland, a physics major here at Boise State. In Dr. Faloja's lab, we create artificial membranes mimicking the membrane of real cells, 
We learn how to control the transport of ions and molecules through these membranes by using external stimuli such as electric and magnetic fields, pressure, ligands, or light. Once such control is achieved, we produce small spherical vesicles named liposomes, which are made of fats similar to the ones found in real cell membranes. And the interior is filled with one or more drugs effective at combating certain diseases. The surface of these vesicles is modified such that they selectively target specific tissues, organs, or even tumors, and the interior is filled with one or more drugs effective at combating certain diseases. After attaching to the target, the drug payload of the liposome is locally released by using the optimal external stimulus. My name is Sheena Bryant, and for the past two years I've worked in Dr. Feloja's lab. I will graduate in physics later this year and I'm applying for the PhD program in biomolecular sciences. I enjoy the interdisciplinary nature of this research and the opportunity to work with Dr. Feloja at the interface of physics, biology, chemistry, and engineering. This research program constitutes an excellent example of how science works in its entirety when crossing the borders of apparently separated disciplines. We are part of a growing and thriving university of more than 22,000 students, the largest in Idaho, located in the state's capital city. Our campus is nestled along the Boise River adjacent to downtown Boise, with a wide range of cultural events and outdoor activities nearby. Our vision is to develop an internationally recognized doctoral program that delivers a contemporary curriculum while providing exciting and impactful research opportunities for our students. We welcome your inquiries and look forward to meeting you.